Hi viewers, how are you doing? This is Vincent Amaya. Um, we're with Industrial Engineering 190G and I'm here at UC Berkeley. Uh, this is week five and we're talking about the smartphone patent uh, lawsuits that have been going around. Um, this week we're focusing on Barnes and Noble and um, I'm going to speak about Microsoft, uh, a lawsuit recently filed against Barnes and Noble for using the Android operating system on the Barnes and Noble Nook um, reader. And um, just, I believe it was just a few days ago, Microsoft actually dropped one of the patents they were claiming that um, Barnes and Nobles had infringed on. So originally there was four, and now there's only three. The one that was dropped was as in regards to, let me pull this up. Um, it was in regards to how uh, you could use a tab control for establishing tabs that differentiate amongst pages and in user interfaces provided by application programs. I'm going to be honest with you, and I don't even understand what that means. It's too technical for me. But um, The three other standing patents have to do with how, um, how text is selected on the Nook. There's a, a design patent on... Um, how I guess how the handles on the Nook um, you could use them to expand the text, and there's a patent uh, that's being that Microsoft claims being infringed on that has to do with um, that a background image that's shown after text has been displayed in a web browser. I'm not I haven't seen one personally, so I'm not sure what that entails. Um, and the last patent has to do with how. Um, how non-modifiable text annotations are stored in the Nook. So uh, clearly, Microsoft's just trying to attack Google and uh, anybody that's using the Google operating system. They're going to try to to get their their money um, for for these devices, however they can do it. Uh, they did this to Motorola last year, and uh, here they're doing it again. So. I would like to take a minute and let's take a look at the Nook. Here's the Nook, and I've gone ahead and, and added some slides. They have the abstracts uh, for the patents that um, were that Microsoft is claiming Barnes and Nobles is Barnes and Nobles infringing on. Um, let's talk about what my, what Barnes and Noble is going to do to counter Microsoft. They're they're Arguing that Microsoft has overextended their powers with these, with their patents that they're holding, and that they're um, they're just they're they're abusing their their authority over over that material and concluded in these patents. So they're going to go ahead and they have a huge team of lawyers right now, and they're trying to build that case. And so it'll be interesting to see what happens with them. Um, how far they can take it. I mean, if they can, if they can prove that Microsoft is in fact bullying all these companies, it'll be interesting to see what Microsoft would have to do uh, to. I would imagine they'd have to pay back some of these um, some of these companies using the the Android OS that they've already they've already acclaimed um, those those licensing fees. So I think that would be interesting. Uh, I don't know if that if that would go far. Uh, Microsoft's obviously a very powerful entity, um, and they hold the patents, so I mean they have their rights already. I, I think that would be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope you guys can tune in next time. Thank you. Bye bye.